Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Java Edition tutorial. I'm your host, BJW, and today we are going to be working on the rail duplicator for 1.15. We're revising the one we did for 1.13 because now in 1.15 it is broken. For all intents and purposes, it still works. It's just a little bit dangerous. It can destroy rails, which of course we don't want to see happen. I was really hoping I'd figure out a version that worked with honey blocks because who doesn't want to get on that honey block action with 1.15, but alas, you can't get rails to stick to honey blocks. So we had to go back to an old slime version. Different versions of these slime based duplicators have worked in previous versions of Minecraft, but have always been broken through some sort of timing mechanic that was changed in different iterations. Now we found a different configuration of observers in 1.15 that has this working again. In fact, it's working so well, the version I'm gonna show you today will duplicate nearly 90,000 rails an hour. All right, let's get started with our materials list. You're going to need to start off with a solid block. If you do build just the smaller one, you only actually need one. If you do the larger one, you'll need about a half a stack or so. You need two observers, one sticky piston, seven slime blocks per cell. So if we do just the single cell, you'll only need seven. If you do the larger ones, you're gonna need 21. You're going to need one lever, and then any combination of rails that you want to start with, you'll need four for the small version, 12 for the larger version, and you can use powered, detector, regular rails, or activator rails, totally up to you. If you decide that you're going to build the larger one, you're going to need some sort of a movable block. In this case, we're using glazed terracotta. It works, it works well, looks nice, but you can also use obsidian or any other immovable block. You're going to need about a half a stack of hoppers. Uh, I think it's 26 if I remember right, but make yourself half a stack just to, to, so you have enough. You're also going to need another 15 for your minecarts. So you'll need 15 hopper minecarts, two chests at the very minimum. You can certainly have more. In fact, this thing duplicates fast enough. You probably want to have uh, several chests. Uh, so at 90,000 rails an hour, that's something in the neighborhood of 40 double chests. So just keep that in mind. You'll need a fair amount of storage, but at the very least you'll need two. And then a couple pieces of redstone dust. Overall, it's a very simple build. There's very little redstone actually involved. And uh, all the components you can get pretty early in the game. So uh, overall, I think it's pretty easy. There's your materials list. Let's get started with the little one first. All right, let's go ahead and get the materials here. Quickly pick block all these so I can get started on it. All right, you're gonna start with two observers facing down, break out the bottom one and then a block down below so you can get underneath and place another observer facing up. You can backfill if you want to. Then a solid block on top and a lever on there, turn it on. Then you're gonna place your sticky piston against this. It's gonna extend, don't worry about it. Then place a slime block against that, one below, and then five more slime blocks out. Then you're gonna place your observer on the end facing away and then four of your rails. And believe it or not, you're finished. This thing is duplicating like crazy. This is about eight rails every second, uh, about 480 a minute, or about 28,000 rails an hour. Now that I've shown you how to build a small one, let's build the big one. Let's start the same way we did as the other one with two observers facing down. Break out that bottom one and then that block there, get underneath one observer facing up. You can backfill there with a solid block on top. Now let's go ahead and add some solid blocks here in this three up, two down pattern. And break those two out and then red stone dust on top of these three blocks. You'll see that it's running. Go ahead and put that lever on and turn it on. And then add your three sticky pistons on these three blocks like that. And then two slime blocks on each sticky piston like this. Two. And then five slime blocks out on each one. Three, five, four, five. Perfect. All right, let's start with a line of solid blocks here. Oh wait, actually. Let's start with the chests first. We'll do one here, make it a double. And then we'll do a hopper line starting with the middle one right here. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven underneath that line. And then we'll come do this other branch line with two coming out of the chest on this side. And then a line of seven here. There we go. And then we'll do the second line on this side, off, also off of here. And then seven more. And the idea here is that we want to have them coming into the chest individual lines rather than uh, combining together. This will make it a little bit more efficient. Now we can come back and do our solid blocks in between and on uh, the sides. Go ahead and just do these on uh, all four sides here. Oop, can't forget one. There we go. And then another one here. Now let's close in the end with solid blocks. At all. I think I'm going to use my terracotta just for because it looks good. Why not? but you do need to have terracotta blocks at the ends of the sticky pistons here so it doesn't grab them. Let's go ahead and backfill a little bit here. 
And then for right now, we're going to leave a gap right here and then come over and put another row of blocks right here and then close in the end. Let's go ahead and backfill some of these spots right along the sticky pistons in the middle. And then we're going to fill in this middle row right now. And this is going to help us place the mine carts here in just a second. I'll show you. Let's go ahead and add a couple on the ends where these are going to be permanent immovable blocks. Right here, that'll work. And let's go ahead and close this one in for right now as well. Now it's time to start placing our hopper mine carts and our rails to get us all set up. So let's come over here and grab a hopper mine cart and just any rail, get a powered rail. There's some subtle tricks to doing this well. So if this gives you grief, don't be afraid to break these out and start over. So let's start by placing a couple rails here and two rails there, grabbing a mine cart and dropping it on and then pushing it and it will go down into the slime block. Now it might not go all the way so you can jump down in here and kind of push it a little bit if you need to. And then come over and lay your next rails down and push the next one in. And that goes pretty well. And go ahead and just keep doing that until you get all in this row in. We'll go and finish this row together. Break those out, do two more. Drop the mine cart, push it in. There you go. And one last one here. And that should work pretty well, perfect. And you can kind of jump down in here. Uh, and if these aren't going in, you can jump down in and kind of push the carts in if you need to, but you might not need to. And you can go ahead and break these out. You don't need these anymore. Let's go ahead and do this next one together. Place it down and then push it in. And then what you do is you break this one out and then put the rail on the other side and see how it flips the rail around. And then you can place it on this one and push it into the other side, just like that. Now, you might not be able to place it, like I couldn't place it, I just jumped down in here and kind of push the carts into the sticky blocks. And then I can place that terracotta and move on to the next one. Place in these rails, go ahead and set that mine cart down, push that one in, break this one off, and then jump to the other side really quick. Place another rail and see how it flips around again. And then I can push that one in, just like that. And then break these rails out, and then I should be able to place the terracotta without any problem. Yep, that one's pretty easy. All right, let's go ahead and place some more rails and go ahead and finish this off really quick. Go ahead and break out these rails and place our last terracotta and we are done. There we go, easy peasy. Now let's go ahead and place down our observers really quick. And then we can start closing in the top part here with just regular blocks. These don't need to be terracotta. And then go ahead and do this end over here. And then last end in the middle and close this end. Perfect, there we go. Uh, now I think I need to get the rails. I got the power rails on my bar here. We'll go ahead and put those down. And let's go over here and grab, uh, let's see, we'll get uh, regular rails and the activator rails. Put the regular rails right in the middle. Do four. Let me do the activator rails in here. Perfect. Now uh, that is done. This thing is fully functional. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Oh, sorry, that's a little bit loud. Now you can see those rails kind of popping up above there and they're getting sucked down into the hopper mine carts and down into the hoppers down below. Let's see how quickly these things are coming in here. This is why we had three different hoppers coming in from three different sides. You can see all three sections are coming in at the same time. And that just makes unloading go a lot faster than having them all combine into a single hopper and then into the chest. And now that it's fully functional, you can even come through and start decorating a little bit and closing in the top of it or the face of it, whatever it is you want to do. You can start using some of your solid blocks and make that facade a little more solid. You can even come up on top and put in some non-movable blocks. Make sure you use the right types of solid blocks over the top of those sticky blocks. You can close in the top, make it a little bit less spawnable with half slabs. Make sure and keep all the, the rails on the inside. You can close these things up if you want to. You can come on the front, maybe bury it in a wall. You're in a castle in a basement somewhere. You can move the power around if you need to. Lots of different options, whatever it is that you want to do. No matter how you finish it off, I hope that this update to the rail duplicator for Minecraft 1.15 is useful for you. If it is and you end up building it in your world, make sure and leave a comment down below. Let me know where you built it. Tell me how it's working for you. I'd appreciate it. And if you get in trouble for using this on your server, don't blame me. <laughs> no matter what, I hope this has proved useful for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure and leave a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. I would very much appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks a lot and bye-bye. Uh,